and this voice rang out from behind me in English, in a town where no one speaks English, and said, Hey, gringo, where are you going? And I turned to look at him, and we spoke, and we began to talk, and he told me a few things, asked me about had I ever jumped out of an airplane, and got to telling me different things about jumping, and he was very uh, inquisitive to find out whether or not I might possibly know anything about the hijacking of Dan Cooper. And once he was convinced that I didn't know, because when I was 17, <laughs> there were no cell phones. You didn't know one. If you had a motion picture camera, you had money. And it um, recorded on 8 millimeter tape film. And uh, let me first say that um, a lot of everything that he told me came in paraphrases. Little riddles and quaint ways of saying things that um, one would not understand unless one had knowledge of the events and issues that he was talking about, which of course I didn't. I did know what the, what the word hijacking meant, but since he was the first hijacker, there was no internet, there was no YouTube, so the only communication we got about the news was on the uh, black and white television uh, around 7 o'clock in the afternoon, or maybe it was 5, I don't remember. I didn't watch the news anyway. I was just a kid. And he checked me out for that. And once he realized that I wasn't going to be able to figure out who he was, he began to tell me things about jumping out of an airplane. He told me that he had some help. He told me that he had a little bit of training. And if you watch some of my other videos, you'll see some of the things that he told me about that famous jump of his. He told me that he didn't need the money, that he had plenty of money, and that he did it for the thrill. Well, things get more and more complicated. And I'm going to give you more details about the different things that he told me that relate to the Zodiac Killer and a certain person who broke out of a prison. <laughs> That's all for now. I just wanted to uh, introduce myself uh, live for this first live publication. And remember, everything that I record is copyrighted. And I'm the only owner of this data because it's all right here, because it ap actually happened to me 44 years ago in Mexico City. How I lived through it, I don't know.